Laura, Jack, Julie, Mandana, Nadia, Izzy, our Izzy here from, from English 88, uh, and Meredith are talking about the lines of Bob, Bob Kaufman's jail poems that they love. And uh, Izzy, Izzy's favorite lines are as follows in that poem, Jail Poems. And maybe this is a prompt for us to talk about Kaufman during this hour. Someone who I am is no one. Something I have done is nothing. Some place I have been is nowhere. I am not me. What of the answers I must find questions for? All these strange streets I must find cities for. Thank God for beatniks. <laughs> Jason, you have the mic. Why would Bob Kaufman in jail, or I guess, yeah, the jail poems were written in jail, so why would he say thank God for beatniks at the end of that, do you think? And then after Jason thinks of an answer, I'm going to ask Max McKenna. Why would I'm, you? I'm stumped. Oh, that's cool. Let's go to Max and come back to you then. Max, why would Bob Kaufman... I mean, there's a beautiful reversal there. You can avoid my question about Beatnik. And what of the answers I might, I might find questions for? All these strange streets I, might f I must find cities for. Thank God for Beatniks. Any thoughts? Um, <laughs> I was just reviewing the, the, the poems as you were yeah, asking. The question. Yeah. Um, All right. Jason's ready, Jill Max. Go, All Jason, right. and, then I'll, and then I'll pick up okay. the slack. Okay. Well, Izzy is, is one of my students in my creative writing workshop. So um, I think that it's the, maybe it's the God that's throwing, throwing me off, but but to have thanks for beatniks is to um, have those places that are imagined be populated by possibility and by um, energy and, and a reason to, uh, something to enter into once one leaves the confines of the jail. Okay, cool. Davey, you think about cities all the time. So how do, how do we connect the first part of that stanza that Izzy likes? Some who, someone who I am is no one. Something I have done is nothing. So there's a lot of negative identification. There's a little bit of Ellisonian invisible, invisibility there. Um, so how do we connect with Bob Kaufman's feeling like he has no identity, and that seems to be temporarily okay. How do you connect that to the strange streets I must find cities for, and then beatniks? That's the essence of this week. Well, something that you lose in jail is uh, scale and infrastructure. So you don't get to move through space. You don't, you don't get the experience of moving down streets, of seeing things at a large scale, and something that the, that the beats are really good at doing is thinking about uh, engaging with fragments of space, enga engaging with decontextualized space. I mean, Alan, Alan Ginsberg uh, in how I enjoy counting the number of times he like jumps off of things, jumps off of steps. He, he or others. Yeah, yeah um, and just like misuses infrastructure. And so this is, you know, like you don't, get, you don't get to have an identity in jail. You don't get to be a self. You don't get to have the kinds of invisible interactions with people that like seeing, like strangers seeing you on the street makes you a person. Yeah. And so you like, you develop streets. I mean, like so where, where the lines of a poem are kind of like streets in a city. Um, you don't get to place those within an infrastructure. And so you, an you answer, but you can't have questions. You get taken out of context. And the beats are great at that. The, and the beats are great. So you got to it at the end. Thank God for beatniks. Max, I'm going to turn to you. But, you know, by the time this is written in the late 50s, published in 60, I think, um, beatnik was already a derogatory, mocking term for anyone, you know, living in the hinterland who's, you know, sort of not a San Franciscan or a Greenwich villager, but who, you know, maybe grows a goatee and listens to rock and roll late at night or whatever, and then is, ca is called by the teachers and the principal and the parents who are squares and upset about this rebel, apparently without a cause, um, a beatnik. 
Now, just at that time, as soon as it became fashionable and people were taking beatnik tours of San Francisco, Bob Kaufman was going around, you know, typically he, was, uh, he would cover his face with Band-Aids in crosses, and he would go up to cars, he'd stop cars on the streets of San Francisco and recite poems. So he was, uh, and he wasn't without a home, he wasn't homeless, but he was, I don't know what the right word is, performing is too easy a word, but he was being a beatnik just at the time when it was all was mocked. And so Thank God for Beatniks is sincere, but it's hilarious at the same time, because here's this guy who's really an outsider saying, beatniks are great because they want to be at the margin, and that's the only place I'm going to find myself. Max, any thoughts on this before we move on? Uh, can you hear me and or see me? Yes. Okay, weird. I think my camera's... Well, we can, we can hear you, but you're in a, you, we can only see a really cool uh. <laughs> still shot of you. It looks like you've just smoked a cigar. I, I do look pretty cool there. I'm you are? Smart. Did you just go running and then smoke the cigar? What's the story? <laughs> that's, uh, that's how you got to do it. Um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, just to keep going off of... Uh, whoa, I think I'm back now. I'm back yeah, you back. are. Hey. Well, there we go. Okay, yeah. cool. It's it's this uh, I really like this 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 inversion of of the of the the construction of the city or the concept of the city. You know, you have the streets first, and you have to find the city for it, rather than the city being the given, and then you know yeah. having to then go in and 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 discover the streets. So it's this yeah. um, it's this it's kind of cutting against the grain radically. Yes, uh, right. That happens there, and that he's thinking. Uh, the beatniks for this this sort of possibility as um, as Jason said this this openness um, yeah. and uh, that's that's what he locates in the beatnik attitude is this yes. this kind of radical counter yes. right this very like counter yes almost counterintuitive yes. mode. Thank you so much. And Kaufman helped, as I understand it, helped invented the, invent the word beatitude, or at least to use beatitude for the anthology that he co-created, and Jail Poems appears in. Beatitude. So obviously that's the beat attitude, but beatitude is also a kind of religious term that refers to a saintliness, right? And so the Kerouac side of beat was, I'm beat, I'm tired, I'm run down, I'm scruffy. But Kerouac aspired to beatitude. He didn't quite get to saintly, but someone like Kaufman really behaved almost like a saint, uh, like a rough saint. 